Hey, this is Mr. Masonette, and what we're going to do in today's tutorial is we're going to practice solving problems involving a transversal, crossing a set of parallel lines. And then the angles are represented by various expressions where we're going to have to solve for x based on our prior knowledge of different types of angles. So let's go ahead and get started. So this first problem shows a diagram where we have line segments m and n, which are parallel to each other, being cut by a transversal. And up here we have a 65 degree angle, and down here we have an equation that represents this angle measure. And what we have to do is figure out what is the value of x right here. So what we got to recognize at first is that this angle right here and this angle right here are corresponding angles. And corresponding angles are equal to each other. So we know that 65 degrees will be equal to this equation right here. So what we're going to do is write an equation that shows that they are equivalent. So 2x plus 13 we know is going to be equal to 65. Now us writing this equation was dependent on us knowing that we have corresponding angles and also knowing that corresponding angles are equivalent. So what we're going to do now is just isolate the x here so we can find its value. So first we're going to subtract 13 from both sides. And on the right hand side that leaves us with 52. And on the left hand side we have 2x. And now we just divide the coefficient by itself so we get positive 1. That leaves us with positive 1x. And on the right hand side we have to divide by 2 to balance our equation and that leaves us with 26. So in this problem we know that the value of x is equal to 26. And we can go ahead and check this by plugging 26 into this equation. So if we took 2 and multiplied by 26 and then we added 13, that would in fact give us 65. Because 2 times 26 is 52 and 52 plus 13 more is 65. All right, let's do another example. Now, the last problem we did involved corresponding angles. Both angles are located on the same side of our transversal, and they're both located somewhere in the middle of our parallel lines. So that makes them same side interior angles. And what we know about same side interior angles is that they have an angle sum of 180 degrees. So we have to approach setting up our equation differently this time. So what we would say is that this value plus this value added together would be 180. So we're just going to write that out. So we know that x plus 25 plus x plus 45 has an angle sum that is equal to 180 degrees. All right, next we're going to take everything here on the left and just simplify. So we have 1x here and 1x here, which combined would give us 2x. We have positive 25 and positive 45, which when combined would give us 70. So we just simplified everything here on the left hand side of our equation to be 2x plus 70, which is equal to 180. All right, next we do the inverse of plus 70, which is minus 70 on both sides of our equation. And that leaves us with 110 on the right. And on the left, we have 2x. Now we do the inverse of multiplying by 2, which is to divide by 2. And we have to divide 110 by 2. So 2 and 2 cancel out or technically we should say that it makes positive 1, and that leaves us with 1x on the left. And on the right, 110 divided by 2 is 55. Now, if we were to go ahead and check our answer, we would plug 55 in for x here. 55 plus 25 is equal to 80. And if we plug 55 in here, 55 and 45 would be 100. And if we add those two values together, we get 180 degrees, 
which is always going to be the angle sum of same side interior angles. All right, let's go ahead and do another example. All right, now in this problem, each one of our expressions is located in between the parallel lines, so we are dealing with interior angles. However, they are both on opposite sides of our transversal, so we would call these alternate interior angles. Now, what we should know about alternate interior angles is that they are congruent to each other. And because they are equal to each other, we can say that 2x plus 67 is equal to x plus 56. Now, notice with some of the problems, all we're doing is setting the expressions equal to each other. And the only time we do that is when we know that the angles are going to be congruent. Now, if we know that the two angles have a sum of 180 degrees, then we add the expressions to each other and we set that sum equal to 180. All right, now what we have to do is get x on the same side of the equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this single x over here, which is positive, and we are going to write the inverse of it. So we get rid of it on the right side, and we are going to subtract 1x from 2x. Remember, if there's no coefficient, there's really a 1 there. So that's going to leave us with positive x plus 67 equals 56. All right, next we're going to take this plus 67 and remove it by subtracting 67. So these 67s cancel out because one's positive and one's negative, leaving us with a single x, which is our goal. And now we have 56 minus 67, which is negative 11. All right, let's take our value and plug it into each one of these expressions just to make sure that we come up with the same value. So if we take x plus 56, and substitute x with negative 11 and add 56, we end up getting 45 or positive 45. So we would say that this angle measure here is 45 degrees. Now with this expression, if we do two times negative 11 and then add 67, we would get negative 22 plus 67, which is also equal to 45 degrees. So the problem asked us to find the value of x, which is negative 11. However, other problems might take it a step further and ask you to determine the angle measure based off of these expressions. And if we were to do that, we would come up with an angle measure of 45 degrees. All right, let's go ahead and do one last example. All right, so with these problems, the first thing we want to do is identify what kind of angles we are dealing with. Now, both of these angles are located on the outside of our parallel lines, so we know we are dealing with exterior angles. And both angles are on the same side of our transversal, so we would say that these two angles are same side exterior angles. Now, with same side exterior angles, the angle measures will have a sum of 180 degrees. They are not going to be congruent to each other unless each one of the angles were 90 degrees. And we can clearly see that this is not the case. So what we have to do is take each one of these expressions and add them together and set that sum equal to 180 degrees. So we have 4x minus negative 14 plus 8x plus 22 equals 180 degrees. All right, first thing that we have to do is simplify everything on the left-hand side of our equation. So we have an x term here and an x term here, and they're both positive. Positive 4x and 8x would give us a sum of 12x. All right, now right here, we are subtracting a negative, so right away we should know that by rule we have to make that positive. So we really have positive 14 
and positive 22, when combined would give us positive 36. And now we're going to set that equal to 180. All right, next we are going to subtract 36 from each side of our equation. And 180 minus 36 is 144. Over here, these cancel out, leaving us with the product of 12 and x. And the inverse of the product of 12 and x would be dividing by 12. So we're going to divide the coefficient by itself, which leaves us with positive 1x. And on the right side, we have to divide by 12 as well. And 144 divided by 12 is 12. So the value of x in this problem is equal to positive 12. All right, let's go ahead and plug 12 in for x for each one of these expressions, just so we can see what each one of these angle measures actually is. So for 4x minus negative 14, we're going to change that to 4 times 12 minus negative 14. And we can simplify this to be 48 plus 14. And that would give us a total of 62 degrees. And down here, we are going to multiply 8 and 12, and then add 22. And 8 times 12 is 96. And 96 plus 22 is equal to 118. Now. If we take 118 degrees and we add that to 62 degrees, we should come up with an angle sum of 180 degrees because same side exterior angles have a sum of 180 degrees. So if we check our work here, we do in fact come up with an angle sum of 180 degrees, verifying our answer that x is in fact equal to positive 12. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and activate notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials that just might help you with your math homework. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.